think the, the quotient rule can be somewhat tricky to remember. Right? What does the quotient rule say? It tells you how to differentiate a quotient of functions. So here's a function h of x. It's f of x divided by g of x. Right? And the derivative of h is the derivative of f times g minus f times the derivative of g divided by the value of g squared. Now you might be confused, you might be tricked into thinking that the derivative of h is actually this thing, f times the derivative of g minus the derivative of f times g over the value of g squared, right? Are these the same? There's lots in common between these, these two expressions, right? They both got a g of x squared in the denominator. And the numerator is both a difference of two things. And I'm multiplying together the numerator and denominator and their derivatives. Right? But notice what's different. Right here, I've got f prime g minus f g prime. Here, I've got f g prime minus f prime g. Right? The f prime g comes with a minus sign here. And here, the f g prime is coming with a minus sign. So they're not, they're not the same expression. Right? But how do you know which one is really the quotient rule? One way to remember this is to think about the situation when f and g are both positive, right? And then, then what happens? So let's suppose that um, suppose that f and g are positive, and uh, let's suppose that uh, that g of x is increasing. Right? Well, what happens if g of x is getting bigger? If the denominator is getting bigger, this uh, quotient is getting smaller, right? Right? I'm imagining maybe that f is staying, staying put. Right? So uh, can that help you distinguish between these, these two situations? Right? If g of x is increasing, that means its derivative is positive. Right? And let's suppose that f is staying put, so the derivative of f is, is 0. Right? Well, that means the derivative of f isn't going to contribute at all to how h is changing. But here I've got f of x times g prime of x. So if g is increasing, this is positive. I already told you f is positive. So this is positive, but it's minus. So that means h prime is negative, right? and, and that's correct. You know, if, if g is increasing, so the derivative is positive, that means that h should be decreasing. That means the derivative of h should be negative. Let's look at the situation over here. Well, if this were the quotient rule, what would it be telling us in this situation? Uh, if f isn't changing, that would kill this term. And what would survive is this term, f of x times g prime of x. And if g is increasing, that makes g prime of x positive. I already promised you f were positive. So that makes this positive. Well, that makes this whole thing positive. That would mean that h would also be increasing. So it, it can't be the case right, that this thing is the quotient rule, because it doesn't work correctly in the, if one of one test case. right? When g is increasing, f isn't changing, h needs to be decreasing. And if this were the quotient rule, it would be telling us exactly the opposite. If this were the quotient rule, it'd be telling us that g increasing made h increase. That's nonsense, right? So in fact, this, and this really is the quotient rule, right? And, and it works correctly in this one case. When g is increasing and f isn't changing, that makes the sign, the sign, of h prime negative, which makes h decreasing. So hopefully this is maybe one, one way to keep track of the sort of two competing possible quotient rules. I think it's, you know, Maybe difficult just to remember, you know, the, the formula, but this is one way to distinguish between uh, two possible quotient rules, so you can pick out the correct one.